Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Last time we uh, we killed a bunch of bugs. We were doing some pest control. And now we are going to be hunting some Rhinopolos. So, another pretty simple quest today. Uh, you may or may not need hot drink, or not hot drinks, but cool drinks, because we are going to the Sandy Plains. Uh, actually, speaking of which, because it, uh, Sandy Plains can be both hot and cold, we better check to see if it's going to be hot or cold. It is going to be hot. So, Memo, bring your cool drinks. It's hot as shit. All right. And uh, this might drive a few of you nuts because, uh, well, the, the box uh, at the start of the quest will have cool drinks. I always like to bring cool drinks or buy a, an entire stack of cool drinks, which is, well, only five. And I stock them up. That's pretty much what I do. I mean... I could, you know, take these, the two in here, and call it a day, and stock up whatever I need, but it's, I don't mind spending a little bit of money in this game. Money is very, uh, uh, inconsequential to me. I barely pay any attention of it, which is probably why I'm practically broke 24-7, despite having a job. But then again, I am a college student, so, uh, I'm, you know, everything's going into tuition. And books. And, you know, some other pointless crap. Okay, so, with Rhinopolis here, they are not going to give us an easy time. Like, usually, at the start of it, you'd find them in, like, area 1, 4, uh, 6, I think 8, and probably 9 and 10, too. But, uh, this time around, because we are specifically hunting them down, they apparently know what we're doing. So now they're hiding. And then we have to go and find them. Like Michael Myers. So yes, in this case, before these guys were dicks to us, and now we're going to be dicks to them. And, well, they are going to pay. Oh, they're going to pay. Okay, so there's one right there. With uh, Renopolos, as you can plainly see, they have a pretty strong-looking head. So their weak point is their tail. Just go after their tail, and you, or, you know, backside in general, and you should be good. Their weakest point is their tail, though. And I'm pretty sure you could get uh, medium monster bones from them. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. The Cruel Peko armor set does require uh, medium monster bones. So uh, make sure you carve these guys when you see them and kill them and take their, you know, juices and all that. Uh, another interesting thing to note about these guys is that uh, if they go and run into a wall head first, then uh, they will be stunned. That's something, you know, it's completely pointless because these guys are easy anyway, but uh, if you are so happen, if you so happen to have a problem with Renopolis, then perhaps you want to stay near a wall because odds are they're going to charge you, they're going to miss, and they're going to smack their heads into a wall, and they're going to be dizzy for a little while. Now, when I was off doing my carpenter bug hunt, which was not fun, uh, Area 10 is one such place where you could get carpenter bugs, and that's where I found out that you can find Renopolis here. I never knew that. Uh, on reflection, I've, I've played this game for, uh, collectively, this one and Tribe, because they're practically the same game, except one's an expansion. Uh, I've probably put over 2,000 hours in this series, or w between those two games. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty simple, and I don't know why there's rocks here. I think they're explosive. I'm not sure. I remember there was, uh, in some of the older Monster Hunter games, the Volcano Zone, if you blew up the rocks, they blew up, and they exploded things, everything in sight, and it was a nightmare. You did not want to be near a rock in the Volcano Zone in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. That's for damn sure. Otherwise, you would go kaboom. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very easy quest. Assuming that uh, you're using a pretty powerful sword. And I believe the next quest that we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be going back to the Flood Forest, and we're going to take on the Great Roggy. No, I did not mess up my words there. It is called a Great Roggy. And it's actually one of my least favorite monsters in the game. Because it's so unoriginal. And uh, that subspecies rant will be later on, but yeah. Subspecies, not a fan. But this is where you can get Renopolo shells, this quest. Or, if you know, 
you're taking time out to carve them. So, simple. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.